This will be a walkthrough of the TTCO T display using Arduino. We're going to see how to load up some example sketches using the um, nice little screen that the T display comes with. So let's take a look at Arduino. Uh, here we have um, one of the example patches that I've already loaded up. So in order to get to this point, we need to go to preferences and we'll need to enable the ESP32 board. Um, so we'll need this um, URL here. Um, I'll put that into the description for loading in the ESP32 boards. Um, so just add this in here as a new line. Hit OK. Um, then when we go to tools, and boards, we will see a um, ESP32 Arduino. We will be selecting the TTGO T1 because that is the board that we have. Um, yeah, and the rest of these settings you can just leave as the default and you'll need to select the correct port as usual. And then the other thing we want is this library. So this library, I'll go to Manage Libraries. Um, just wait for this to load. So this is how we can load in lots of different libraries. We've got TFT, E, SPI is what we're looking for. Um, and there's a couple of different ones here. We want this TFT, E, SPI by Bodmer latest version you can just click install um, that'll be all you need so let's open up some different example here just for fun so go to examples uh, I'll scroll all the way down to TFT ESPI and we can choose the 160 by 128 um, we'll try a couple different ones here um, and let's do, um, I don't know, Pong, that sounds pretty cool. Okay, so here's some Pong, um, I guess. I'm gonna hit upload. It's compiling the sketch. Mm -hmm. You'll see it uploading now. We've got a little Pong example. Look at that, it's just playing Pong by itself. Interesting. TFT. I can't do anything. So it just plays Pong. Okay, well, looks pretty cool though. Okay, let's try a different one. Go back here, uh, file, examples. I want to do one with text. So I'm gonna do, I don't know, font test. Upload one more time. I guess it should display some of this text. Now, while this is uploading, um, there's this message here. Don't forget to update the user setup. You actually don't need to edit user setup. You want to edit a different one. Um, so you want to find where your library is for the um, this library that you've saved. Uh, so for me, this is in documents, Arduino, and then within libraries. Um, it, you might have these saved differently. You can go to preferences, sketchbook location, your libraries will probably have installed in there. Um, so that's the location that you want to open up. When you go to libraries, mm, open up the this one. And rather than user setup, we will open user setup select. And all we need to do here, uh, I think, this line will be uncommented for the default setup. 
This gives you really fine grain control if you need it. For example, if you're using a um, a board that hasn't doesn't have uh, preloaded support, uh, we do have preloaded support for this. The TTGO T display here. Um, so all you need to do is just uncomment this line and comment the uh, default one out, and then you'll be all set. Save that and you'll be able to load up this example. And uh, there you go. We're displaying all kinds of different fonts, texts, whatever. Different backgrounds and whatnot. So, mm, right, in order to change this, well, there, it's pretty much exactly what you would think. You've got TFT, draw string, here's the string, here's some positional arguments, um, set colors, fill screen, all that good stuff. Um, so I will leave that to you all to figure out. But that's all it takes to get this screen loaded.